Hi everyone, Junk from Junk Mods here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the importance of EEPROM, uh, what it is, why you should back it up, and how. So when modding an original Xbox, the first and most important thing to do is back up your EEPROM. So what exactly is EEPROM? Well, EEPROM stands for Electrically Erasable Programmable Read-Only Memory. It contains the following information regarding your Xbox. Uh, the Xbox version, the kernel version, the RAM size, the Xbox serial, the MAC address, the online key, the video standard, the XBE region, the hard disk drive key, the confounder, the hard disk drive model and serial, as well as password, and the Xbox DVD model. Uh, so this information essentially is what needs to be backed up. Now each hard disk drive has its own unique EEPROM, which is a critical piece of information when attempting to replace uh, or restore uh, hard drive contents uh, if something goes wrong with it. Uh, so the backup file itself is a bin file, an image file containing all of this unique information. Uh, so when people refer to your EEPROM, quote unquote, uh, they're referring to this file. So if you ever need to restore your hard disk uh, using a utility like uh, Xbox Hard Drive Manager, um, you will need to have this file available to insert onto the disk to fix your Xbox correctly. Um, or sorry, Xbox Hard Drive Maker. Duh. Um, so the way we would do this uh, is typically through the Evo X dashboard. However, uh, many people don't use Evo X anymore as a dash uh, as it lacks other functionality and it really is the weakest modded dash option in my opinion. Um, so for a video on how to uh, back it up through Evo, uh, there's a link in the description, it's extremely simple. Um, so to allow people who have Unleash X or XBMC as their dash to properly back up their EEPROM, uh, I went ahead and put together a program that runs standalone, which has that Evo X backup function built into it. Uh, and there's a link to this in the description, and we're going to kind of go through that in the video here. Uh, so having an EEPROM backup to restore your hard drive or create a new one is not entirely necessary, although it makes the process much easier. Um, once you create your backup of, uh, of your um, EEPROM on your partition of choice, uh, we need to migrate it off of the Xbox uh, through FTP over to a PC. So then what I usually do after that, or what I did previously before uh, cloud storage was a big thing, was I would zip it up as an archive, uh, label it appropriately, and then just email it to myself as an attachment, because it's an extremely small file. Uh, so this way I have a virtual copy, and I don't have to worry about it just sitting on a hard drive kind of trapped. So what I'm going to do here is just basically walk you through the EEPROM uh, backer upper program. I made. Um, so here we see it launching and it really just gives you two options. It's extremely simple. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and choose backup EEPROM. So what that's going to do is it's actually going to extract and execute the Evo X backer up, um, <laughs> backup uh, function utility. And as you can see that's exactly what we have here. So backup EEPROM and we're just going to move it to the backup folder on the E drive, and then we're just going to exit back to the dash. And that's going to take us back to, in this case, XBMC on this Xbox. Uh, in other cases, it may take you back to your Unleash X uh, dash. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look. So in the backup folder, uh, yes, we have an EEPROM folder generated, and we do have all the EEPROM information present in that folder uh, correctly extracted from the uh, operating system. Um, sometimes you can take it from your C drive if it's sitting in a folder, but that's a shadow copy and that's not your true EEPROM at all. This is the right way to do it. Um, so yeah, there's an overview on uh, how to go ahead and uh, extract your EEPROM. So uh, I hope that helps out a little bit. Uh, if you have any questions or anything to add, please leave a comment. And as always, thanks for watching.